session we are going to learn about the reliability of research tool let's see the meaning of reliability in nursing research reliability is the degree of consistency and accuracy with which an instrument measure the attribute reliability refers to the consistency of a measure if a research instrument yield similar or close to similar result on repeated administration it is considered as highly reliable research instrument example a blood pressure measuring instrument gave a reading of 120 mm hg systolic bp for the initial time after some time when bp is again measured for the same subject it gave a reading of 180 mm hg in this situation this instrument is not considered as reliable measuring reliability it's impossible to calculate reliability exactly but there are several different ways to estimate reliability in nursing research the main aspects of reliability which are considered as important in quantitative study are stability internal consistency and equivalence first one stability the stability aspect of reliability means the research instrument provides same result when it's used consecutively for two or more times stability is estimated to make sure that the research instrument is consistent in providing similar result with repeated administration this is also known as test rate as reliability assessment of stability or test rate as reliability the test rate test method is a relatively easy and straightforward approach to establish reliability it's used for questionnaire observation checklist observation rating scale and other physiological measurements etc the steps involved in test rate test reliability administering the research instrument to a sample of subjects on two different occasions the scores of the tool at two different occasion is compared and calculated using call pearson's correlation coefficient formula the interpretation of the results so the results of correlation coefficient usually range between minus 1 to 0 and plus 1 the plus 1 score indicate a perfect reliability zero score indicate no reliability and a score above 0.70 indicate an acceptable level of reliability and the second one is internal consistency internal consistency is also called homogeneity internal consistency ensure that all the sub parts of the research instrument measure the same characteristics A research tool can be considered internally consistent if all the sub parts of the tool are measuring the same characteristics or phenomena. Here is an example for internal consistency. A patient satisfaction measurement scale developed to measure their satisfaction with the nursing care. This tool must include all the sub parts related to the measurement of satisfaction with the nursing care only. it should not include any items regarding the patient satisfaction with the, the other aspects of care one of the most common method used to establish internal consistency is split half method let's see what is split half method here divide the research instrument into two equal parts through grouping either into odd number question or even number question or first half and second half then administer the two sub parts of the tool simultaneously score them independently and compute the correlation coefficient on the two scores using different formula such as hermans brown formula cronbach's alpha etc and the third one is equivalence this aspect of reliability is estimated when a researcher is testing the reliability of a tool which is used by two different observers to observe a single phenomena simultaneously for example a rate scale is developed to assess the cleanliness of the bone marrow transplantation unit this rating scale may be administered to observe the cleanliness of the bone marrow transplantation unit by two different observers simultaneously but independently this is also known as inter-rater or inter-observer reliability which is estimated by the administration of tool to observe the single event simultaneously and independently by two or more trained observers this reliability is the degree to which an assessment tool produces stable and consistent result 
and this is used to assess the quality of your research thanks for watching